I don't know. I feel like I haven't really had my American experience yet, you know what I mean? Not really. I'm young, so that's no big, but does that, does that make sense? I go out a lot with friends, or I mean with guys and stuff, and I'm working and saving up for my own place, like most people my age, and so I can't say with a definitive uh, pinpoint, like, yes, this is what it means to be an American to me. <laughs> I'm sure that when I'm married and I have a kid or two, that, oh, I have always wanted to live in Connecticut, or at least around there, in the Northeast somewhere. Um, that's been a dream, a home in a really nice town up in Westchester County with maybe even a little bit of property or whatever so that we can have a pool or a guest house. You know, nothing fancy, but kind of like the way I grew up is all. I deserve that. I think, at least that much, right? Because we are supposed to build on that. What our parents managed to do before us, we, we build on that and make way for the, you know, um, ugh, I don't know, the next generation, I guess, or something like that. The next ones to come along, like whatever, whatever they're called. Um, oh wait, that's, that's me. I'm the next one to come along. I am the next generation. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been hard, really hard. The second I get out of school, well, after my master's anyway, and I had to get out there and land a job. Not in my field, no, not in publishing at all, but like up to work every morning by nine, like five days a week, it's not easy. Thank God I don't have school loans and crap like that. I don't know how people do it when they have that sort of stuff to deal with too, but still, there's rent and like utilities and all that. Every month, the cable, it's, it's crazy. Seriously, it's crazy. I do it though. I keep doing it and getting out there and meeting people and I try to stay positive. I'll whisper to myself at night that I am living the dream, this dream that my folks had for me and that I now share. A, a belief in a, a, a better kind of world where I can't just lose a bunch of money in stocks the way my dad did or have to deal with wars going on all the time. By the way, I think most of those countries over there are actually very ungrateful to us and all we've done for them and so we should just, you know. Um, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not a politician and I didn't study this stuff, but I think Maybe we should just start to get out of there, the Middle East. Pull a mountain, leave them to it. I mean, we have our own problems right here in America. I know I do. I have a lot going on in my own life. I mean, I got off my parents' health insurance in like eight months, so I have enough going on for like 10 people without having to worry about some war in Afghanistan or like freedom in Syria or any of those things, welfare, any of those kinds of issues. I'm just. I am totally on overload, okay? I think maybe that's my American dream right now. I am dreaming about the day when I can stop helping everyone else and start living for me. I run downstairs and get coffee all day. I am always the designated driver. It's usually me who is figuring out the separate checks at lunch, so, so, when is it my turn, hmm? That's what I wanna know. When do I get to stop caring so much? And when is it gonna start being a little bit more about me? I don't know, but soon, I hope. Pretty damn soon. Who are you, America? That's the question Center Stage asked when we commissioned these 50 monologues. Want to learn more? Keep watching.